The Apprentice Doctors Pre-Medical Summer Camp 2010, held in Tampa, Florida, was an exceptional event with loads of fun, learning, and discovery. Upon arriving at the camp, students had an opportunity to meet each other, their host, Dr. Anton Sheepers, and co-host, Dr. Monica Watts Hopkins. They received an apprentice doctor medical kit and scrubs, and the camp kicked into high gear. Monday was scrub day, and the students discovered the principles of sterility and asepsis with a practical session on the correct method for washing one's hands aseptically clean. This was followed by one of the camp's highlights, a visit to the Tampa General Hospital and the simulation laboratory at the Medical School of the University of South Florida. The students were allowed a hands-on experience doing, amongst other things, scope surgery. After Dr. Anton had demonstrated the correct way, the students scrubbed and gowned for surgery. All these camp students will be quite able to properly scrub for theater in future. Tuesday morning started with a lot of learning about the human body and quite a number of fun practical projects. It was a fitting foretaste of medical school, whereas a high volume of information needs to be absorbed over a short period of time. Lunch was followed by some inspiration and motivation, a wonderful jump start to the students' medical careers with a well-known Paul Davis chatting to the students about success. Wednesday, we dealt with matters of the heart. With the help of Dr. Sheepers and Dr. Monica Watts Hopkins, students analyzed normal and abnormal heart sounds. Afterward, they were able to distinguish between normal heart sounds and a number of different types of heart murmurs. Using the Apprentice Doctor Foundation course and kit, students learned about the heart rate, blood pressure, and blood oxygen saturation, followed by practical projects to practice their new skills. We viewed interesting clips of various surgical procedures and as if this was not enough excitement, the afternoon was spent at Mosey Science Center. Wednesday evening, we were privileged to attend a lecture called How to Create a Limb at Mosey Auditorium, presented by one of the top academics in the USA, the Dean of the University of Connecticut School of Medicine, Dr. Cato T. Lawrenson. The students felt privileged to meet this highly appraised academic personally. On Thursday, we learned a lot on advanced emergency medicine, as well as water and electrolyte balance. This was followed by a number of fun practical projects and an interactive workshop on basic life support and knee surgery. The afternoon session, a practical hands-on workshop on how to stitch up wounds like a professional surgeon, was considered by a number of students as the highlight of the course. Students received the Apprentice Doctor's How to Stitch Up Wounds course and kit, and by the end of the day, they had mastered a variety of surgical knot tying and suturing techniques used every day by surgeons around the world. Friday morning was evaluation morning, a theoretical and practical exam, and just before noon on Friday, all the successful candidates received their result and accredited Apprentice Doctor certificates. This is what Paul Davis had to say about the Apprentice Doctor pre-medical camp. Just give me some more feedback on the whole experience today. Well, I was very impressed, Monica, with the students. In fact, I speak around the world, and when I go to Asia, I can speak to Indians for three hours nonstop, no water break, no food break, no bathroom break. In the United States, as a former high school teacher, I can tell you, usually 45 minutes is about the most that young people can endure me speaking and uh, as you can see, I'm rather lively and expressive as I speak. But here, today, I spoke for two hours and the students were asking questions, they were inquisitive. So these are the top of the line students who are here. They're very intellectually uh, wired and very curious. And when you send your uh, youngsters and your children to Dr. Anton's camp, I believe that you're investing in them in a powerful way because we had students from Sweden here today and other parts of the United Jamaica. States flew all around the world to come. So this is a great uh, camp. If your children are considering being a doctor or going to medical school before you make that big investment in a larger capacity, why not let them try it before they buy it? So to say here uh, during a week uh, camp in medicine to practice and get their hands involved in the hospitals that you visit and so many other facets of medicine. It's wonderful. I only wish when I was this age I had the same opportunities afforded to me.
Oh, I can definitely agree. If I was that age that I had the same opportunity to have met and heard her speech at this, you know, at that yeah, age. Very kind. But, however, even at my age now, the speech was on Jumpstart Your Career, but you definitely recharged mine. Recharge mine. Thank speech. you so much. I'm so grateful to having you here. What is it that you felt that you liked the most? What I like the most, I think, is defining success. I think everyone's in search of the secret, and there's it's not a secret. Once you know yourself, it's not really a it's not a secret. Well, it was an honor to speak yeah. to the youth, and I tell you, you cannot heal what you cannot feel. So I wanted to speak on a full, uh, balanced approach to life and being whole and being well inwardly and outwardly, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and uh, I think. That was the message that continually reverberated and resonated with me, and I guess that's why the students responded so well, yes. is because I touched on all the aspects of their life, even as teenagers, and I was able to transcend the geographical borders and the racial borders and really unify in a, in a holistic approach to uh, inspiring them to uh, fulfill and live their dreams. That's what it's all about. It's helping them be empowered to live their dreams. And I'm ready to go to the gym. Just, just <laughs> yeah. your speech itself, man. You just, I'm just so ready to just go to the gym and just, you know, just reach any, like, the sky is not even the limit anymore. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait till the next uh, doctor camp and to see and participate again. We're going to do one in New York and Los Angeles and South Africa and yeah. the, the uttermost parts of the earth. Get ready. We're coming to you. That's right. And we just are so grateful and thank God for the opportunity for Paul Davis and Dr. Antoine Shepherd's Apprentice Doctor Medical Camp. It has been a phenomenal experience and I'm just so grateful and the kids definitely appreciate you guys. And, and those of you who want to sponsor, please, all of you who are philanthropists and want to contribute, this is good soil, fertile ground, and I know God will richly bless you as you give to uh, Dr. Anton's work because he's a prince of a man, very humble, very pure-hearted, and I know that this is going to be a good investment in the future generation. So please don't hesitate to give or inquire how to do so further because I know that you are going to greatly bless the next generation as you do.